Hello everybody and welcome back to Grim Fandango. I'm your host Fallon 4 and in today's episode we are going Anybody to there? talk to a couple of people here and there. I told you we don't have any kitty hats today. What? You have to wait until Tuesday. That's kitty hat day. I don't want a kitty hat. Fine with me. What's your bet then? I don't gamble. It's a conflict of interest for me. Then why did you call me down here? For the friendly conversation. Okay. We just got uh, something interesting off that guy. He told us Kitty Hat Day is Tuesday. Hello. Oh, hi. Betting stuff, please. What? I need the betting stuff for the race you're interested in. Interested in... How? And the rest didn't seem the photo finish file for, of course. Oh, I, I don't have a betting stuff. Oh, okay. Bye. So far, we have two pieces of information that we need for this area. These do look bad, but this jump wouldn't do the trick, unfortunately. One is that it, Kitty Hat Day is Tuesday. Another is that week two was the week that Ugh. a blimp exploded. I'm not exploded. sure what I more. Crowds or cats, but I'm definitely not going near either one today. In any case, we need to head down this way. I want to get rid of that really annoying noise in the background. So let's see if we can do that now. I'm heading over to Olivia's, the blue casket, I believe it was. Yep. We're going to head into the back. going to get out our plunger here and take some of the horrible dishwasher water. This stuff can knock out an elephant as we've seen already. So let's head over to Seaman Naranya. See if we can't get rid of that really annoying noise. Because it's winding me up as well now. Okay. take this and move over here I need to open the really fridge up again to put away the uh, plunger turkey baster open the fridge up open the drawer and what effect this is going to have is that it's going to catch the um, tattooists you know tattoo gun thing syringe, electric syringe, that allows us to I don't really do, do that. this. I don't really yeah. want to do that. Where's the bottle? There? There? there it is. Now you watch the effect. Over. Look, you broke it. Now it won't shut. He's going to drink from his bottle in a sec. And take a look at what happens. Nemozogia, uh. hold still. What are you, dead? Kaifa, <sighs> wake up. I don't work on drunks. Resek Chavargo. What kind of sailor are you? <clears throat> Can't handle booze, huh? What you tell us, Gunnar Lord? What anger at the Nam folks give his at me? The Taliashan Boland watch. Well, let's go. Toto, I got your boy Naranya here. <laughs> Am I here? Well, he sobered up. I send him to limbo. Yeah, yeah. He'll make it there by morning. Promise. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That is what I told him. Let's see what you got on you. Huh, sailor? Are you kidding me? Anselmo Naranja Ensign Third Class. Doesn't look like you'll be showing up to work in I the morning. I gave him the idea in first place. Okay, so we now have his ah, dog tags. Tiger can't change his stripes. And we have no reason to stay down there anymore. Let's continue up this way then. And what we're going to do is we're going to head... 
Let me think. Where's the quickest way back? Let's go this way. And we'll go up via the elevator. We're going to go to the morgue. And here's the reason why. A couple of episodes ago we picked up metal detectors, you may remember. And not only that, but we've now got Seaman Naran has dog tags. And what we can do is we can plant them on one of the bodies in the morgue and give the uh, chap in the morgue the metal detector, which is going to help him find those dog tags. And he's going to believe then that the seaman is dead. And that gets us our way onto the boat. So here we go. All we need to do is wait for him to look at the other body. Oh, there they are. I don't really want to do that. Are you sure you're looking hard enough? Look, Manuel, these old eyes are tired. I'm doing the best I can, but the average retirement age beachcomber has more sophisticated equipment than I've got here. So, let's give him some new equipment, shall we? There it is. Would a metal detector help the cause? Hey, just like downtown. You never know what this'll turn up. An engraved ring, a belt buckle with somebody's name on it. <laughs> Who would wear a belt buckle with the... Oh. Huh. Velasco, it looks like I've got one of your boys down here in the morgue. A sailor by the name of... Naranja. What? How? Sprouted? But... Ah, oh, this town's going to hell. Sailor can't even take a two-day shore leave without watching his back. Yeah, yeah, I'll come down in the morning. All day long, Manny, I sought through pure sadness. I find evidence, and I piece together stories. But none of my stories end well. They all end here, and the moral of every story is the same. We may have years, we may have hours, but sooner or later, we push up flowers. Very morbid way of looking at things, but fair enough. Okay, so what have we completed here? Let's just recap just quickly. We have gone and got ourselves a union card. We have basically netted off Seaman Naranha for turning up to work. The only thing left now is to secure ourselves the CB equipment. In order to get CB equipment, we need to spring the bee from prison. In order to spring the bee from prison, we need to get the help of the lawyer. And in, of course, in order to get the help of the lawyer, we need some collateral um, for him, basically. So, what we need to do here is I need to gain some information. I need to get the cigarette... Uh, essentially off of him. To do that I need to get up or get him to leave his table. And I'm trying to recall how to do that. I believe it's something to do with being able to go and see the big boss man. So let's see if I can remember how to get to the big boss man. I think it might be a hat. It might be That's that. A good cat. Let's see. Get that mouth. You got it. I think it might be this one here. There we go. Hello, Maximino. 
Why, if it ain't Manny Calavera, come to see how the big boys play, eh, Manny? From what I can tell, they play with kitties. Kitties, roulette tables, what's the difference? They go round and round all day, and they're both more reliable when they're fixed. Am I right? Yeah, fair enough. Look, you gotta cut Gladys off. He has a problem. As long as he's got credit, then he's got no problem. Credit? How did Gladys get credit? He's part owner of your club, ain't he? Half owner, actually. Well, he put the joint up as collateral. So as long as you're in business, he's in business. Hmm, fair enough. What else can we talk to him about? You know, you got a pretty nice setup here. You got a good little club yourself, Manny. Not as nice as my girlfriend's, of course. Did you say your girlfriend? Hey, Manny. Don't pretend you don't hear the gossip. It's not a secret anymore. Olivia and I are officially an item. Hmm. Well, I just saw Olivia and Nick kissing. Manny, we all kiss here. We're all one big family, you know? Hmm, okay. How's the old cat race, Max? Well, volume's pretty low. Most everybody's out of town. Tell me about it. But I've got some side businesses that help smooth over the rough spots. What kind of side businesses? <laughs> Manny, let's just say our El Mato associates appreciate our out-of-town perspective. I'm leaving town tonight. That's great, Manuel. No one needs a vacation more than you. Get out of town. Forget about that Meche woman. I like the new blimp. Yeah, I decided not to let what happened to the Olivia One get me down. Imagine, you try to impress your girlfriend by building her a beautiful airship, and what happens? It goes and crashes, explodes and burns on your own track kills her favorite cat too not the kind of thing that makes the young girl's heart score flutter i'll tell you that twice okay so i think he's just told us that it, it, the ship was called olivia one i think the one is useful i can't quite remember well i'll let you get back to staring out the window just can't get enough of my cats I don't think the one is uh, useful actually. Right, I need to get this off of this chap, so let's see if we can get him to move. How's tricks, Nick? Yeah. Virago, I really need a lawyer. Well, my dance card is full. So what are you gonna do? I could tell Max about you and Olivia. That sort of claim could send a man like Max into quite a rage, especially if the messenger had no proof. Max and I are friends. He'll believe me. People believe what they want to believe, Calavera. And I want to believe you're a smart man who doesn't go around spreading dangerous rumors. I've got to talk to Max for a moment. When I get back, I hope you are gone, because I'm sick of looking at you. And that's done it. Man, this is gonna get me in trouble. There's something rattling inside. Must be in a hidden compartment somewhere, but I don't see a latch or anything. And what we need to do here is to somehow get inside this. Because we can't actually open it ourselves. And I know just the way to do it. Over where the blimp is. We've seen our friend up here before, Carla. She has a bomb disposal thing. Okay. And this is how we get inside that cigarette case. We're going to tell her it's not a cigarette case at all. What do you think we're going to tell her it is? I wonder. Here we go. What's that? I don't know. I found it under your desk. Unattended? No, there was a shifty-looking guy with crazy eyes who put it there. Oh my god. Give me that! It's a bomb! Ha-ha! <laughs> Another senseless act of terrorism nipped in the bud by security officer Carla. Wow. It was completely destroyed by our own detonator, so I can't tell what kind of bomb it was. But here's something. <laughs> I better bring that to Chief Bogan. Yeah, you can analyze it with your metal detector. <laughs> She's still pretty sore about that whole metal detector thing. Right. 
We now have a key, but what does the key do? Well, I tell you now, it unlocks the door to the lighthouse, which I believe we get to by going down this way here. Or maybe not. Maybe it is this way. The lighthouse, I believe, we can get to from here and taking a right. Sprouted? What's happening to this town? Oh, big city crime, Manny. We're getting more of it every day. I know you probably hate getting it this way, but Naranja's job's yours now. No, Velasco, I don't know if I'm comfortable taking that. You'll take his job because there's no one else I can get on such short notice. And the card? Let me see it. Oh, 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 one of Charlie's rush jobs. Good thing your new captain's far-sighted. And don't forget that Gladys has got to bring his own tools. He will. He doesn't go anywhere without a lot of tools. Good, because neither does the limbo. Don't just sit around here collecting barnacles. Right. <laughs> we need to get to the lighthouse. I'm trying to remember how to do that. Not via this way, I don't think. So, okay, in which case, let's head this way. Which direction was the lighthouse in then? Was it this way? Yes. I think it's at the end of this path, past the bees. The key opens the lighthouse, okay? As you can tell by the music, it's quite solemn, somber. Lola, did Nick do this to you? Yeah, he wanted that picture real bad, but he's never gonna find it, that fink. I'll get him, Lola. I'll show Max the picture for you and fix Nick for good. Just tell me where you hid it. Oh, Manny, it's all my fault. Always falling for the wrong guys. You know, I even had a thing for you once. But you were so hung up on that Meche woman, I figured I didn't have a chance. Lola, where's the picture? Tell me, Manny. When I've had a chance, never mind. You just want Olivia for me. Tell her to improve her taste in men, or she'll end up just like me. Tell her to get a nice guy, Manny, like you. Lola! Lola! Hey, there's a picture of a tongue on it, and it says number 22, Lengua. Okay, so we have a tile here with 22 and Lengua written on it, and it also has a picture of a tongue. Now, what that is, is actually it's at one of the tiles for our bus girl. I'm going to call her a bus girl, because she's not a bus boy. Receptionist, then, let's say. You may recall she said she had a new coat system, coat check-in system. And uh, that is, in fact, what it's all to do with. It's one for her jacket. So let's go and head back there, and that's where we will end for today. If you've enjoyed this one, please do all those lovely social media style things. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I'll catch you next time for some more Grim Fandango Remastered. But until then, guys, take care. Bye.